Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. How are you? The toast is toast and the brothers is butter, and I'm here, you are here, and it's the 6 a.m. edition. And the $2,000 stimulus check could be here as well a week away from today. Can you imagine? The new Congress is in session, and they start today with the House, and all indications suggest that the second stimulus check package, which is the Cash Act, could get reintroduced with fixes and get it to the finish line by the end of the week. Incredible great news that you could finally be getting the $2,000 stimulus check. I'll be going over the details in this shocking development video, and I'll be adding to third stimulus package as well. Let's get rock and rolling on Early Mornings LL8. Hey, good morning, everybody. The toast is toast and the butter is butter. And I'm here, you're here, and are you ready to crush the Monday? Let's do it. Thank you for joining me. Uh, boy, what a weekend it has been. And there was so much development yesterday on Sunday, but today, Monday, is going to just... Lord, I'm so excited for you. So please subscribe. Go to the Finance Channel, subscribe. Because there's so many developments across the board happening this week. You don't want to miss anything, like a new program going live. You want to make sure you get that application as soon as quickly, as soon as possible for the second stimulus. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go to the Finance Channel, also hit the alert button so you can alert when I go live. You don't want to miss a live recording. Also like this video. In this video, I'll go over why second stimulus is now getting so much push for a $2,000 stimulus check and how quickly that could land your bank account in the next few days. Over on the side is an instant premiere. If you're new to Early Mornings LA, every show has an instant premiere. It allows you to chat along with your Purple Power buddies while the show debuts at 6 p.m., 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then interact and just share your common thoughts. The same group of people tune in every morning, so it's a lot of fun. So enjoy the instant premiere. And there's another one again at the 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time edition shortly after this one, part two of Early Mornings LA. So stay with me for that show as well. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start this new morning is that the $2,000 stimulus check has a path to getting finalized. And what is that path? The path is the House, then the Senate, and then the President of the United States desk, Donald Trump. When, where, and how would this likely happen? Let me go over the details. First, Cash Act 1, the Cash Act of 2020, expired on Sunday at 9 a.m. It expired because all bills under the old Congress have now expired, so they got to start anew. they got to do new bills and start over. They start in the, Senate, the House and they go over to the Senate. Well, the House starts its new session Monday, today, and then will be done on Friday. And so by all accounts, they should get this done in the next few days days. By my predictions, they would likely do the Cash Act revisions on Wednesday, introduce them on Wednesday, get them to a vote on Wednesday, and finalize them on Wednesday and send them to the Senate. Why not before Wednesday? Because <laughs> it's basically admitting you made an error, and no one wants to admit an error before there's an election occurring. Uh, Tuesday is the election of the two Georgia Senate seats, and no one wants to in the Democratic Party say, hi, I made a mistake in the Cash Act, and by the way, uh, don't forget get to vote on Tuesday. Yeah, you want to keep your mouth zipped closed and then admit the error the day after the election and then come and fix it. So Wednesday is the day after the election. How about the election results itself? We won't know those on Tuesday night. We may not know until late Wednesday or Thursday. And so that's actually perfect routing because the House would pass it on a Wednesday potentially, then send it to the Senate on Thursday, at that point, we could likely have the two Senate races concluded and those people flown to Washington quickly to uh, be sworn in as congressional leaders. And then the Senate resumes taking up the Cash Act bill. Now, you certainly are wondering, well, will that happen? Yes, if certain things fall into place. Yesterday, Everything looked like Georgia was going blue after Donald Trump gave the Democrats a big surprise. That big surprise was what was called on social media the Trump tapes. Donald Trump was recorded on Saturday by the Republican Secretary of State in Georgia calling him up and saying, 
I want you to find, F-I-N-D, 11,000 votes in Georgia, uncounted, and call the election for me and say you made a mistake saying it's for Biden. <sighs> oh, Lord. <laughs> it's just the messiness you don't want to have before an election night. And that's scandalous. And by all accounts, even though the Democrats were in the polling leads going into those scandal tapes, it looks like the Democrats could take those two Georgia Senate seats because of the Trump tapes. And with that, that would mean that if the bill for the $2,000 stimulus check, Cash Act 2.0, lands in the Senate, let's say on Thursday, then the Senate could approve it that day with Chuck Schumer as your new majority leader, not Mitch McConnell. That's how it would work. Two Democratic wins in Georgia makes the Senate go blue and makes Chuck Schumer the majority leader, not Mitch McConnell for the first time in many years. So that is where we are with that. What would be the next step? Well, it would land on the president's table. He could either do a veto, a non-veto, or a, a, either do a veto, sign it, or do a pocket veto. But the Cash Act... 1.0 passed the House enormously and passed the Senate with enough votes for an override. So by all accounts, it looks like they could do it again. They could either override the veto if there is a veto or just wait for the president to sign it. Done. And you would see the stimulus check how quickly thereafter. This is also the really good news. So you would see the stimulus check be sent out about Tuesday if the president signs the bill on Saturday or Sunday next this week, and then you could see the funds by the middle of the week. <laughs> can you imagine? This is fast. Uh, let me go over the deal provisions again. Two thousand dollars stimulus check for adults. Two thousand twenty. Uh, Four thousand dollars for a married couple. Two thousand dollars for adult dependents. A retroactive stimulus check for adult dependents who did not get one under the first stimulus package. This is to bring you to the total amount of two thousand dollars, not an add-on of two thousand dollars. So, if you got the six hundred dollars stimulus check, the second stimulus package, then you would get fourteen hundred dollars additional to go on top of six hundred to bring you to two thousand dollars. But adult dependents, they would get a full two thousand dollars stimulus check because they're not getting a stimulus check under the second stimulus package. All right, let's cut back now to the second stimulus package just for a little bit. Uh, yesterday, I asked viewers, of those that received their first stimulus check electronically, which of those which of those viewers have not received the second check electronically? All of them said I had they are not. So do not be concerned that you are an anomaly. I like to do big numbers like that, and there was a lot of no's. I did not get it. So just presume that Steve Mnuchin's representations that everyone was going to get it, it's just not true. Um, it's slowing down. As I always said to you, I I just was surprised that he said everyone can get it in 24 hours. Now I have viewers who Mnuchin announced it on that day, and by the end of the day, viewers were getting the check. It was just shocking. I have viewers the next day and the viewers the day after, and now viewers that still have not gotten it, but it's not time to fret. Now, maybe the time to start to be a little bit itchy about the situation is perhaps Wednesday electronically. If you receive the first stimulus check electronically and you're waiting for it second time electronically, not talking about any other situation. Now, the paper check, we don't see much clarity about that whatsoever. Uh, we had been told that it was going to be sent out last week, but no viewer of this channel reported ever receiving the paper check last week. So by all accounts, you may start to see some viewers seeing the paper check today. If you do, certainly tell me on some of the comments of this video when I go live. Say, hey, I got the check by mail today, so I know, but I haven't seen that example yet. I expect, you know, a lot, maybe by the middle of the week, um, especially for paper check. Remember that $600 for adults, $1,200 for married couple, nothing for adult dependents, $600 for children. That's the second stimulus check. Okay, multiple stimulus checks. That's Biden. That's third stimulus. All the other things are third stimulus coming up later in this video. I'll cut back to that as well. Uh, now, really, what is sort of the plan du jour? Well, the plan du jour is the following. You're looking for the second stimulus check, the $600. You're going to be like a hawk with me focusing on the $2,000 stimulus check battle, because it's not a law yet, the battle. But along the way, I want you to be focused on getting the other money as it comes live. What is it? It's second stimulus items. It's all coming live throughout the next few weeks. A lot of the items are coming live today, and so I don't want you to miss it. These are diminish diminishing funds. So they announce them, and then three days later, they could be gone. Yeah. 
It's a big rush to get this money. Do not presume there's enough for everyone. There isn't. There just is not. Uh, I always have the example that the EIDL grant went live in May for all people. And on, on, on a, it went live on a Monday. Viewers got the money who applied on Monday later on Monday or Tuesday morning. It was insane. Tuesday applicants did not get paid on Tuesday. And they didn't get paid on Wednesday. They got paid on Thursday. The Wednesday applicants got paid not on Wednesday, not on Thursday, not on Friday, but on Monday, I guess what happened to the Thursday people? They were told that it was out of money. They see how it went from being paid within a few hours to being paid within a few days to being paid nothing. That's how these things work very, very quick. So in the video right after this at the 6.30 edition, I'm going to go back and go over what's going live in today's round of Second Stimulus. There's a lot of things to get ready for. But one of the things that did go live uh, for some viewers was the payment of FPUC. I don't mean the processing or the pending, the actual payment of the $300 of FPUC. You're going to see that kick in a lot. FPUC, you want to watch your state's unemployment website to make sure you go from inactive or ineligible or expired or any of those horrible verbs to something more insuring like active or eligible or things like that. Once they switch you, the next process will be for them for you to certify for benefits. Then after you certify for benefits, the next process will be to receive the money pending, showing the word pending or processing. That's really good. Most viewers had that yesterday, which was shockingly great. And then the last process will be to actually see the money in your account and that and they'll show it as pay, P-A-I-D. But the third stimulus package is right around the corner. So I want you to be ready for that. What is third stimulus check and third stimulus package? Well, that's an expression I first coined on this channel as Biden stimulus. It's just around the corner. And the items and the deal items of third stimulus package are very, very big. And I want you to know what they are and know what they sound like. Know what you qualify for. So when they become law later this month, around the 21st-ish approximately, then you know to pounce and get it. Okay, what are they? $2,400 of SSI and SSDI. That's $200 a month on top of your existing benefits from January to December, plus a 20% step up on your, on your annual benefits and a new benchmark different than COLA. This would apply. This is an automatic payment. It would go right into your bank account. So you don't have to do anything for this one, ironically. The other one that's also on a Mac is MSC, multiple stimulus checks every month for several months until the pandemic ends. This also is on a Mac. Everything else after that, that after MSC in this video is not on a Mac. You have to do something for it. Um, what are they? EIDL grant, the remainder of $10,000 EIDL grant for people who never got the remainder or the $10,000 grant for people who never got a penny for the grant while the grant was open or the EIDL grant for people who got the loan, but that grant was still closed as well. That's going to come. Then another round of PPP. Hazard pay, $10,000. If you were during the pandemic, January for last year, to the, uh, 60 days after the pandemic's over, $13 an hour, up to $10,000. FPUC retro, $600 a week, back to July 25th, and then forward. That's a lot of weeks. It's 30-something weeks in the month of December, from July to December. That is about $18,000. That Lifeline grant, up to $50,000 if your cost of goods sold is $50,000, 2019 earnings, and you're impacted by the pandemic. Um, the CDC grant for frontline workers, essential workers. You see how many things there are in this. And these things are just going to go uh, rent and utilities. Also, Biden's going to do a standalone bill, excuse me, executive order for mortgage forbearance, student loan debt forgiveness, and eviction moratorium on day one. That's That will likely go by executive order. But all the other things, you see how important it is to stay focused with me on what they are and what you can get. Not so much get it now because it's not live, but be prepared to pounce and get it as soon as it goes live. So the great news is that the focus this week is the $600 stimulus check getting it, then also getting that FPC $300 a week. Then getting the uh, watching the two thousand dollars stimulus check get to a law, you're gonna follow that with me, and then get ready for the other things that are going live in the second stimulus as well. What are they? Watch the video right after this. As always, go find the channel, subscribe, also like this video. Stay up and stay smiling, and save that life for more.